Hello and welcome back to Sweet Leaf Soapery's YouTube channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Faith Ann Bodiani and I'm the owner and soap maker of Sweet Leaf Soapery. So today I will be making Electric Lemonade, which is probably by far my favorite design for the month of June. These bars will be available on my Etsy shop June 1st. Everything that I talk about in the video will be linked down below, including my Etsy shop, Instagram, and Facebook. So I also have a coupon code running right now, and I'm going to put the code somewhere in this video, so definitely stay tuned. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and make our soap for today. All right, I am going to strain my lye water solution into my oils, and then I'm going to blend it with my stick blender until I've reached probably a medium trace today. Okay, so I have my lye water mixed in with my oils, and now I'm going to add Hollywood Pink. I'm not separating this out today. The base is just going to be one color and this is going to be a super fun soap and I'm so excited to show you guys what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so I'm just going to whisk this in. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to add my fragrance, which is Raspberry Lemonade by Nature's Garden. And of course, my colorants and my fragrance are always linked in the description below. And if you guys are curious about anything else I use, let me know and I will try to link it in the future. All right, so I've added a touch of titanium dioxide and a little bit more of that Hollywood pink. I'm gonna hit it with my stick blender really quick. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer this into a larger container and then I made some lemon massage bars. They were totally fine. They just had a lot of air pockets in them because I poured them a little bit too thick. So what I did with my massage bars is I chopped them up and I coated them in some blue mica and I'm going to drop it in our soap and I'm so excited to see how it looks. So here is my big giant bag of little pieces of cut up soap. So these are lemon scented and they are coated in some blue mica. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop these in our batter. I'm trying to separate them a little bit so they're not just chunky in the soap. Okay, and then I'm gonna give this a quick stir. So I'm going to pour these into our mold now. It's very chunky and splashy. And I'm just gonna add some more soap chunks in here. And I want some of them sticking out because I'm gonna have to make a touch more soap and these are gonna be piped, but I have to make a touch more. I think it would be really cool to have some texture. So I just made a quick little batch of soap. I needed to do that anyway for my piping, but I put some yellow Vibrance Mica in here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna ladle it over my spatula. And this isn't going to be a perfect layer, but you get the idea. And the name of the soap is going to be Electric Lemonade. So I thought a yellow vibrance would be perfect. And at first when my original massage bars didn't work out, I was kind of bummed. But I like little challenges. I think they're super fun. So this was a good little challenge. I was trying to figure out what to do with my massage bars that didn't quite work out. And that 
is perfect. All right, so I'm going to let this sit up. I'm going to let my piping sit up and I will tap these on the ground and I'll be back when it's time to pipe our soaps. Okay, I am back literally the next day because two of my piping batches seized on me in a row and I'm piping a little bit runny today, but you know what? If this soap seizes on me again, I'm gonna be so upset. So I'm just feeling a little frustrated and I had to come back the next day to pipe. So I just think that this soap is cursed. Um, so the blue chunks in there, um, as you may remember, are from another batch that didn't work. So your girl is just feeling a little frustrated. everyone it's me I'm editing this video right now so use code shop small if you would like 10% off that does not include however charity soaps or suds of the month but everything else is fine so use code shop small if you would like 10% off you can use this code all the way up until June 10th that's when it expires at midnight mountain time so make sure you get on and you use code shop small for 10% off and that's really all I have to say. So I will get back to the video now. Thanks guys. Okay, here's the last dollop. <sighs> okay, I'm glad that piping worked out because I don't know what I would do if it didn't. I would probably um, scream and cry. I have my soaps piped. It is now time for embeds. So every soap will be getting a little raspberry on top and these were colored with Hollywood Pink Mica, as well as a little blue minty lemon. And this was colored with Synergy. So I'm going to start off with the lemons. <laughs> sure that they're all in there and then each soap will get a little raspberry on top to finish it off I'm going to spritz it with some silver mist mica And this is to give it kind of a frosty look. And then I'm also gonna spritz it with one of my favorite micas of all time. This is Blue Enigma. And of course, all of my colorants will be linked in the description below. All right, so I am all done. I will bring you guys in for a little close up. And like I said earlier, it's the next day. I was too frustrated. I just had to come back to it. So our bottom is already hard and it's ready to cut now, but we gotta wait for our piping to set up. So probably around 18-ish hours. But let me bring you guys in for a close-up and yeehaw. Here is a close-up of our bars. I'm loving them, even though this batch caused me so much grief. I think they came out really cute and I'm excited to cut them tomorrow. All right, I'm back to cut the soap. And I'm really nervous because if it's ugly on the inside, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to cry because this soap has really tested my patience. I'm just taking off the silicone liner. Okay, and this is the bottom of the loaf and it has all of those little chunks in it and I think they look really cool. Okay, this is our first official cut. And I am so happy that the soap is not ugly on the inside. I think it's super cute. It smells really great too. Oh, these are adorable. Mm, okay. Whew, I have some relief in knowing that. Oh, these are so cute. 
cute and I love all the different shapes in there. So I am one of those people who is just a very light sleeper and I will wake up at three o'clock in the morning just thinking about something. And so this morning I woke up at 3 a.m. so nervous that these soaps were not gonna work out. These soaps really were such a headache because I had to make five different batches to get it right. And I actually had a nightmare that I cut into the soap and it was the ugliest looking soap I've ever seen in my entire life. So that just goes to show you how obsessed I am with soap. Oh, these are just so cute and the tops are so shimmery and shiny. Oh, I love them. I'm also really excited because I have some things coming in the mail this week. I have a bigger mold coming, which is exciting. I have some new micas, which is always so fun. And the other day, I was going through my micas and just organizing them. And I feel so bad because I am like a mica hoarder. I have so many, first of all, I have so many blue micas and some of them I didn't even know that I had. So I am so excited to experiment with them, but I think this is going to be the last cut. I hope you enjoyed watching me make electric lemonade today. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out my channel. And if you would like to purchase this bar for yourself, they will be available June 1st at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. If you have a soap idea that you would like to see made, you can draw me an exact picture of how you want the bar to look and message it to me on Instagram or Facebook. Or you can just comment it down below if it's something super simple, like you wanna cookies and cream scent or whatever. But with all that being said, I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.